a guy shows up complaining to the rabbi, Rabbi, so-and-so, he did this, he did that, he owes me this. So the rabbi listened and he said, okay, I hear you, you're right, what the guy did was uh, not nice, and the guy leaves. Five minutes later, another guy walks in. It's the guy that he was talking about, and he says, Rabbi, I need to speak to you. You're not going to believe so-and-so, he did this and that. So the rabbi listened to him as well and said to him, I hear what you're saying, you know, you're right. It's not nice what, what happened. And he leaves. Two minutes later, the rabbi's wife walks in and says, how could you say that? You said they're both right. So he answered his wife, you're also right. Sometimes we're looking to justify our position. We want to be right. And we paint a picture in our heads that make ourselves right. Now, when dealing with marriage, it's very rigorous. You know, it's not a part-time job. Marriage is a full-time, lifetime job. It's 24-7 for many, many years. And if we come in with the attitude of, but I'm right, so you could be right, but meanwhile, you'll be fighting. The bottom line with a marriage isn't about only being right. It's about two people working together to create a harmony in the home. Shalom Bayit is above all. Actually, the Torah says that in order to create and facilitate Shalom Bayit, Hashem's name is erased. Hashem says, so to speak, erase my name if it's going to help bring Shalom Bayit. And so we should take a lesson from that, a very important lesson, and tell ourselves when things get heated between husband and wife, especially to the point where we need to go to an outside party for help, we have to ask ourselves, what is our focus? If it's just too much of a selfish-minded perspective where it's about me and my life, then of course you'll figure out that you're right and your wife is wrong and you'll complain. And vice versa, the wife will come to with her complaint saying, I'm right and my husband is wrong. And many times when you hear each story separately, like in the story I started with, each one will sound right because of the way that they're seeing the picture. When you paint a picture one way, so then of course you'll be right. We have to understand that marriage is about both people with one picture. If we can put our picture aside and, and help talk with our wives and husbands to create one picture for the both of us, then we will hopefully have a better chance of seeing the other person's perspective and reaching a conclusion that is above who's right and who's wrong.